Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, and prepare to bear witness to the marvellous magnificence which is the latest Virtual Stadium Tours video. Please remember to keep your hands and fingers off of the screen at all times to avoid impairing your viewing pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. And so today we are taking a look around the Mosaic Stadium. That's right, it is the home arena of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders of the CFL. That's the Canadian Football League, of course. The American, the Canadian version even, of the NFL, the uh, American Football League or National Football League as it is. Uh, and as always for you, the first fact I have on this arena is its overall capacity. And I can tell you right now that this arena regularly has an overall capacity capacity of around 33,000. However, when there are special events taking place in the arena, um, whatever they are, be it a special concert or a special sort of uh, football or soccer or any kind of sports event really, the overall capacity can be extended up to 40,000. So let's move on now to talk about the construction of this arena. Uh, and it begins in July 2012 when it was announced by the Mayor of Regina, uh, Pat Falcow at the time, uh, that he, a signing of a memorandum of understanding for the funding of a new stadium had taken place for the Ska Saskatchewan Rough Riders uh, to replace their old stadium, also known as the Mosaic Stadium at Tyler Field. And this new stadium was set to be part of the Regina Revitalization Initiative, uh, a redevelopment project that would see, obviously, this new stadium, the relocation of several major railway routes through the town, um, and also further development downtown, new houses, new commercial buildings, all kinds of things, basically. However, with most large proje projects of this sort, it takes a little while for it to actually get going, for it actually to pick up and start going. And so it was actually two years later, almost to the day in June 2014, that construction finally began on the arena and it was then a further two years until October 2016, so very recently that this stadium was actually opened at an overall cost of around 278 million Canadian dollars. And the funding for this stadium has actually come from a couple of different sources. To begin with, the government of Saskatchewan has actually provided a grant of 80 million Canadian dollars. Um, the, the city itself of Regina will produce... 73 million Canadian dollars in funding, which will be subsidised through property tax increases for in a short term period. And the final 100 million Canadian dollars will be a bank loan guaranteed against the ticket surcharge sales of the stadium. So finally now, let's go on and talk about the interesting design of the arena and the notable events that are going set to take place in this arena. And the first and only notable event that I've been able to find so far is that in August 2017, Guns N' Roses are set to play a, 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 a concert in the arena. Uh, Guns N' Roses, of course, the very popular rock band. And finally, talking about the design. And of course, this stadium is situated in Canada, and it snows a lot in Canada, which means this is the first time I've been able to say that this stadium actually has a roof specifically designed to keep snow away from the supporters. It will collect the snow on the roof of the arena and obviously funnel it away from the supporters, which is, uh, I guess, good if it snows regularly enough. Anyway, that is all I've got time for today. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this Virtual Stadium Tours video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see every new video this channel uploads as soon as it uploads them to the interwebs, why don't you press the subscribe button down below this video right now. Goodbye.